Well, Linda, you know, federal prosecutors wanted Courtney Brantley to remain in jail on this lone federal charge of failing to report a felon carrying a firearm. But the judge, after listening to both sides, even addressed Brantley, telling her that you have made some bad decisions. He went on to tell her that he didn't think she aided Dante Morris. And we want to show you some courtroom sketches here. Before she sat down, I saw that Brantley waved to loved ones in court. And then her lawyer laid out defense that she is not a criminal. She's a good person in college. And that this relationship with accused police killer Dante Morris was, quote, stupid. Federal prosecutors argued, though, that she is still a flight risk and that to this day she still has not identified to authorities Dante Morris as the man who was in her car the night two officers were murdered. Brantley's grandmother and mother also spoke to the judge saying that they're willing to take full responsibility of Brantley if she gets out. And obviously the judge did agree to that. And her lawyer admits she has a lot of growing up to do. Judge described it best. She's um, immature um, and exercised poor judgment. Um, this isn't retribution. Is not what we're what people should be after. It's just it's a sad situation. And the judge echoed that sentiment, too, just saying this overall is just a tragic situation for everyone involved. Uh, we're learning now that Brantley, as we told you earlier, she just got back to Orient Road Jail tomorrow morning. She will head back here to federal court after some processing. She will be released from federal court here in downtown Tampa. Then U.S. Marshals will escort her out. After that, per the judge court order, she has to live with her mother at her mother's home in Sefner. She has to go by a curfew, wear an ankle break. Bracelet. She can only leave to do things like go to work, church, and school. And if at some point she does not do any of those things, the judge says she will go back to court, stressing that mom and grandmother put mortgages on both of their homes so that she will be able to get out of jail. We're live in downtown Tampa. Elizabeth Din, ABC Action News.